so <clears throat> so today I will open a few of my World of Rock of boxes, three of my six. Uh, first one will be the Servants of the Betrayer. It has like the the old. I I don't remember which set was it when they stopped releasing them like this. Was it this set? They changed to a different box size. But yeah, I also got like one of these uh, arena sets from one of my viewers, Kenji. Uh, so yeah, let's start with this. I'm also a little bit early, so I guess I will start slow. And the deck has always the same cards. I don't think there is like a chance for anything special. There's a, what was it, like a battle starter set of trumps, uh, trumps of war. And I did pull a, a loot card once from, from the starter set, even if I didn't knew that there are loot cards possible inside. Mm. But yeah, these should always have the, the same cards. Ah, there's like a, yeah, like a small token, Hippogriff, Hatchling. I never played with, uh, with these cards. I think they have like a very, very different play style. This is, yeah, this is not the interesting stuff. Each player has 10 seconds to find one World of Warcraft TCG card he owns that it's not in the current game and put it on top of his deck. Okay, this sounds a little bit like the the magic fun sets, these unhinged or what was the name? Un, the unsets, the series. You can even like create your own card. Interesting, but yeah, there should be like some some cool weapons and stuff in the special pack. Uh, nature's guidance. Where's my focus? There. Radar. Cane intuition. Oh yeah, I remember this one because it's like my my favorite World of Warcraft artist, John Boy Myers. He's uh, still drawing, but not for, as far as I know, he's not drawing for TCGs anymore. He is now doing a lot of uh, comic stuff. And maybe one day he will visit Germany, or maybe I have to come to the US to get some cards signed. Now, this artist is also great. Uh, Sultan, Sultan Boros. And Gabor Chichar. I think they uh, they have also drawn cards for for Magic the Gathering, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, we get the same cards like twice. And the uh, I think it was an exclusive hero card for this deck. Emmy. Yeah, the small gnome woman. Really cool, but yeah, let's go into the the good stuff. Uh, I have to be careful with opening this one because I want to keep the box. Uh, I have opened most of the sets. I will probably never open the last release because it's too expensive. So I don't have a box from from this set but from except from all of the other ones I should should have an empty box maybe at some point I have the space to to display them in a case or something but yeah the the loot card for this set <clears throat> is the the nether rocket which is very cool huh Interesting. 
I haven't seen a, a topper like this before. I just don't remember. These are like one of the boxes with so many cards. I want to complete like all World of Warcraft sets, so I do need a lot of the lower rarity cards. I'm not only looking for for loot cards. I I actually don't really care for loot cards to be honest, because I don't play uh, World of Warcraft at the moment, not actively. And yeah, you can sell them probably, but not as good anymore. I think there were like some some. Tr which drops where you could get like exclusive mounts and stuff. So yeah, I still need like a lot of the the rare cards. There are so many cards in one pack. How many? 19? They should have reduced it at some point. Yeah, we'll, we'll go a little bit faster through them at some point. Oh yeah, this is a nice... I remember this artwork. I did play a lot of, uh, for a long time, my main character was a paladin, blood elf. Female, of course. Oh, it's, yeah. Most of the time when I see an artwork and I think it's awesome, it's a John Boy Myers artwork, and this one is a, is a John Boy Myers artwork too. That's awesome. And then after the hero card, there is a, there's the rare card. In this case, it's just a blue. I have bought a lot of the, the epic cards and higher rarities as single cards. I think I still need like some of the heroes probably, and maybe I can. I think these are the packs here. Because there are like so many cards in a booster pack, I can actually rip them open. Usually I do cut my my packs open. But with so many cards in a pack. What's with his face? With the with the wrinkles in his face? Looks a bit old. Oh Bora the Mad. Uh, this was like the the traitor. They have a different framing. One of the traitor heroes. Yeah. There it's traitor. There are some cards you can only like play in traitor hero decks. Yeah, after this box I have two more boxes from the one is in German because it's just very hard to get in in English and it was quite affordable compared to the English boxes in German. Still very expensive, but we have a Tauren root and Wastewalker leggings. When an opposing hero or ally becomes exhausted, your hero deals one melee damage. I, I haven't built decks, to be honest. Like, I have binders full of cards. Uh, usually I sort them, of course, per, per set. But I think there's, like, quite a community still playing. Maybe per Discord or webcam, too. Maybe I should start, like, to do something with all my cards. Do remember that the, the gameplay was quite fun, too. This many duplicates. Marlow, the fell swarm. It's a warlock. And traitor, yeah. Cards like this. You need a traitor hero to, to play this ability. Keep moving or we will freeze. I really do enjoy the the art of the World of Rock of TCG. It's like one of my my favorites. Favorite. I like them a lot more than the the magic art, Magic the Gathering.
And they do smell. <laughs> they have a special smell compared to other TCGs. That's Rogue. Oh yeah, I remember this artwork. When I saw this artwork for the first time, it made me really want to play a, a Undead Rogue with the tier 6 armor. I think it was T6, like from uh, the Black Temple. I remember this this artwork very well. It looked so badass. When they released uh, World of Warcraft uh, Burning Crusade Classic, I, I did play Undead Rogue. <laughs> looks so cool. Jessup Smythe. In general, like the rogue class is my, my favorite. The character I played the most was a gnome, a gnome rogue. I'm really, I feel really tempted to play like in, in Season of Mastery now again, but I'm not so sure if I want to put in the time. Sister Remba. I see her for the first time. I never bought this one. Target ally in your party with an attachment is elusive and on target. Okay. Totem of Decay, another traitor hero card. Yeah, this is one of the the lower rarities you can pull as a as a loot card with a code. But it's not like special or worth anything. I think it's like for, or oh, you can use it some some amount of times, and then it's gone forever. I think it's yeah, it grows your your pet. Hi, Darko. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Have you have you stopped buying uh, AliExpress cards completely, or are you still collecting? Oh yeah, this is another awesome John Boy Myers artwork. I think I like this even more. What was the other paladin? Yeah, the the John Boy. This would be like one card I would love to get signed by by John Boy Myers. Sad that this artwork is not available in in foil. They haven't done a lot of foil foil stuff. That's cool. I do really I put this to the side. Then we get the Shadow Staff and King Kong. Really crazy how many cards I'm in a pack like this. I have like how many? There are also like nineteen nineteen game cards per pack. I think at some point they changed the amount. Maybe I'm just not used to it because of all the the Japanese cards and stuff I've opened recently where there are only like a few cards per pack. Oh. This is another like dark priest artwork. Shadow Forge. That's cool. I do like the, the lightning. The beer lady. Dwarf Hunter. What else? I have a, a card gallery open somewhere there. Okay, the the second loot card is a a weather maker. <laughs> I think this is not uh, not for a certain amount of use. I think this is a 
a permanent item. And yeah, the, the yeah, okay, this is like the the cheapest one of them. As I said, it I think it grows your pet. When I was still playing World of Warcraft, I think I, I redeemed it once. Unbrilled Unbrilled Fred. Okay. There's another cool artwork. Hello. I don't know what monkey means. Uh, these few records are pretty sick, yeah. Stop buying from AliExpress completely. Oh, manga, yeah, manga is a nice way to spend money too. Oh yeah, you should really read the, the manga of Tokyo Ghoul. Don't watch the anime, it's not worth it. But uh, the manga is pretty nice. I don't remember how many how many volumes. It's a little bit more. Uh, but not as much as Naruto or stuff like that. But yeah, Berser I, I haven't re uh, read Berserk, I have to admit. Like, I, I do enjoy reading manga, but I have to... Uh, I don't have the money to buy manga, so I I read the manga that my girl buys, and my girl is not into ber Berserk. So, yeah, I usually don't spend money on on mangas, it's like all going into cards. But there's also the. Uh, have you have you heard of the manga Dandadan? And it gets an anime release too later this year, but uh, the manga is really, really good. There are so many good mangas, that's the problem. And recently, like, they, they did increase in price in Germany also, like, every year the, the manga gets more expensive. So that's a cool artwork too. Retribution Hero. Ah, the artwork. Yeah, season one was, was okay. I especially I like the ending of season one, yes. But then it really like went downhill and I and I remember that I I stopped so many times watching the the second season because I just was what what do you want from me I oh man I was so frustrated with watching the anime I think yeah I think now I remember how it was there's always one one regular hero in this set and then there's also um, a traitor version of the same character like when they become evil this is like the the nice version. Legards of the Shattered Hand. Yeah, the the classic rogue with the tier was it tier one and the thunder thunder fury. Hi Monto, uh, have a have a nice sleep. Thanks for saying hi, and uh, thank you for for wishing me nice polls. Have have a good night's sleep. Yeah, it's a little bit difficult for me to to find a time to stream uh, because there are like people from all over the world, and we all live in different time zones. Uh, Marlo Christophers. Yeah, this wall, the old tier sets, like, this is another tier 6, I think. I really do love the designs of them. I don't think I, I like the current armor reset so much. 
uh, our first epic card it's the quantum blade and i think i've bought this because this is one of the the cheaper cards or the cheaper epic cards sadly there are also like only two i think maybe two per box But I don't remember from my head like which epic card I have bought or already pulled and which I still need. So, yeah. At some point I maybe have to pick up the, the missing cards and another traitor hero. And we have the spiritual domination. Oh yeah, this artwork. Also, like a little bit sexy. I don't know. It's showing a lot of lag. When this set released, it was two thousand and eight. I was, I was fifteen. Yeah, I probably was fifteen. And the fifteen-year-old me was thinking, "Oh, well, this is, this kind of hot." Not gonna lie. <laughs> I didn't have much access to loot stuff back then. I guess. Vindicator Akron. Dr. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. I want you in my room. Oh, yeah. Crusader. Michael or uh, Michael. Kind of German name. Good child. Oh, yeah. This artwork. Awesome, too. Very iconic. Great, great lightning. Very traumatic. Seal of betrayal. Scholar crosses. Angelista. Falling Star, Night of Warrior. I think these were like uh, arena, like PvP weapons back in the day. And Rogue the Ice Baron. Baron? Ah, the memories. That's something I really enjoy from looking at these cards too. For me, like the best time was the uh, Burning Crusade time. Burning Crusade and then Fred of the Lich King. Both were like very like the, the peak for me. Oh, just another of those. I don't know, maybe later when someone when someone who plays World of Warcraft joins, if there is anyone, or maybe when someone watches this after after the live stream, uh, you can you can hit me up on on Instagram, and I can, if you want, I can send you uh, the code of this one. I don't need it. I don't want to sell it, and yeah, I don't care. It's just for yeah, I don't know how many times used, but. Maybe have some fun in game. Indicator egg run. Black demon soul. And Croc Miran's eye. Who's that? No. I think I will go like only to the hero and rare card. Most of the lower rarities we should have now seen. And the the loot cards are should always be at the same point, I think. Ixamos the redeemed. And we have the Boomkin Terrena. Uh hi Seren, I'm opening 
the servants of the betrayer box right now. It has the the chance for the loot card of uh, the Nether Rocket, but yeah, very very low chance. And after that, I will go into the the Ice Crown. Tarn Dark Walker. Oh yeah, Gnome Rogue, the best. Sea Dog Nelly. Oh, she's a dwarf. She doesn't look like a dwarf. Not a big fan of this artwork. Looks a little bit meh. Angelista again. Rune Tusk Troll Priest. Oh, this is like the regular version, not the not the traitor version. Oh, Greg Staples. I have to check up what he's doing now. I remember a lot of cool artworks from from this artist too. Maybe I should. Uh, search on my second screen before I forget it after the unboxing. Maybe still drawing for for magic probably. But I do like this this art style a lot too. Uh, ranged weapon specialization. Yeah, I. I I have a, a few sealed boxes for, I think, like over a year now. And I decided that these will be my last. Like, I have I have three boxes for today's opening. And then, I don't know, maybe in one month or in two months, I will open the rest. And then I will probably never, never be able to open cards again. I cry every time. But they just got way too expensive. Oh, and now we have like the traitor version of the Oh yeah. Uh, of the mage. Oh, that's this looks cool. And we have Millhouse, Millhouse Mana Storm, it's the second and I don't know, maybe the last epic pull. No, I did. I didn't bought them from Card Market. Usually, the boxes on Card Market are way too expensive, and I I do know most of the sellers. And to be honest, most of the people selling on Card Market are just uh, resellers, like people who bought them cheap on eBay. Uh, usually, they they bid on them. And most of them overbid me, so I hate these people. <laughs> and yeah, they just uh, buy them from eBay and put a higher price on them and then they try to resell them and I don't give them the extra money just for being resellers like you no know, F you. And I, I know a lot of people like who, who did this, like who overbid me on eBay and then one week later it was on card market and I was like ah you again and this is a peak artwork it's also a a nice artist I don't remember which artwork he also did but Jim Murray but yeah only two yeah like this was the last booster pack only two Epic cards in a display. Yeah, sure. Uh, like Hearthstone is basically the World of Rock of TCG just as an online version. And yeah, they did change some things, but of course they re uh, reused most of them. Yeah. At least it's like uh, Blizzard has the rights to them, right? Uh, I would check eBay always. Always go for eBay and look for, for auctions. 
Like I I wouldn't buy from from card market. As I said, I I have decided that I will not buy more. Don't want to pay the crazy premium. Hi Daniel. <laughs> Hi. Hello to Australia. What time are you now? I think my my girl was once to Australia and it's like 12 hours between us, right? Or was it New Zealand? Uh, you should be on the same time zone like New Zealand. It was very funny because when I basically when I went to bed, she woke up and when I woke up, she went to bed. This was really annoying to chat and to talk. Should be like 12 hours different. Seven. Okay, it's not 12 hours, but maybe there are like different. Oh, is Australia so big? They have different time zones too. I don't know a lot about this. But yeah, second box is the ice cream set. Yeah, the ice cream set. I, I do love Breath of the Lich King. I love. Uh, I love Arthas. Arthas is like my my favorite hero. He lives forever in my heart. But I I have to open the the card gallery on my second screen. Give me a second. Yeah, there is a Lich King artwork in in this set, but I don't need it. I have already got it. And the the chase Loot card is like the white Reno Rhino, but it's not as expensive as uh, the rocket. There's also a Sintra Goza card, but I already have her too. I think I still need the the Hamid Hamid Nessing Wary. Uh, and the Thrall Thrall and Jaina are also epics in this set. In Sydney, it's yeah. I think she was like on the, it's the the east side, right? The east side of Australia. Uh, what are you collecting, Daniel? What are you into? So first, I will yeah look at some of the comments for this set. Then I will speed up the process a little bit. Not black. Yeah, the. Press of the Lich King time was very special. Oh yeah, this is one of the cards you can get as a as a loot card with a scratch code. Yeah, the best Arthur's Tyrion's Gambit. Oh yeah, for this release they have changed the the order of the card. Like now the the rare card is not in the middle, it's to the end. And also the the hero card. We have Dalron and Glac Glacial Bag. I got a few sets of the Love Life Girls. <laughs> you want to send me hate mail, Daniel? But uh, which which Love Life set was it? Do you talk about a uh, a Weiss Schwartz set, or do you talk about a, a AliExpress release? We've got Steven. Yeah, and the best gnome rogue. I don't know. I I feel a deep love for gnome rogues still. I still can identify with them. I'm small too. Ascati, Darksteel, Valkyr, Hero, Scorch Hero. And the Shilly. <laughs> what? Shilly Slobber Knocker? This sounds like a wordplay I don't understand, maybe. Like a pun. Uh, the Kungen card. Which card do you mean? Somehow the, the name uh, resonates with me like... I, what, 
was it? Oh, uh, do you mean the, the hero card, Kongan? Yes, we have like Sintra Goza. But it's not so good. There, there are better Sintra Goza artworks. Queen Angaboda, or a Angel Angaboda. Uh, Asyol Anak Des Watcher is the rare. Oh, okay. I I wasn't remembering where I knew the name from, but no, I don't know a lot of like World of Warcraft player to be honest. Yeah, I I have searched for the name in in card market now. But it's not in this set. It's in the in, it's in the second box. I will open uh, after this one. This is the Ice Crown release. Uh, Kongan the Thunderer card is in the Breath Gate set. I do have this, but it's in in German because the English set was so much more expensive. Oh, there are boxes. Uh, no, there are packs without a hero card. Oh. Okay. Okay. I think I have the money back. Maybe if I can sell it. I was so, I was so confused. Like, uh, there should be a hero card after this thingy. And these cards, they stick together because of the, the code card. We got the mount. The woolly white rhino. Okay, here we go. I wasn't expecting any any loot pull, to be honest, any mount. And as I said, I, I don't really care for them. I care for the regular cards a lot more. <laughs> Just good that I maybe maybe I can sell it and so I can buy new new boxes or new stuff. That's nice of course, but thank you. <laughs> That's really nice to get. I, I nearly like overwatched it like uh I was about to skip it skip it. If there would have been a a hero card, I wouldn't have noticed that there are two cards sticking together. Oh we got a death knight. Light Spain. Oh no, the first epic of the box is Ronan. And I'm pretty sure I have already bought him because he was one of the cheaper ones. I think uh, Jaina and uh, Jaina and Thrall were a lot more expensive. Yes. Hmm. Sad. But maybe there's one more, one more epic. I try to remember where I got this box from. I think it was from. From Italy, Italian, from an Italian seller. Oh, have I done it? Looks like the first card is damaged, but I don't think I was it. But yeah, and one, one mound is one more than I expected. Vehicle cool and reckoning. Yeah, I think I will I will look through all of my cards and want to build a deck at some point. Maybe there's like a a World of Warcraft Discord and there should be like some people who want to play some games. But maybe they don't play on webcam, maybe they play on like tabletop simulator. I don't know if it's if it's available on the simulator. Yeah, we will go a little bit faster through the more common cards. Oh yeah, Bloodlord Vorath. Yeah, another Jim Jim Murray artwork. Now we have seen like some more artworks from him. 
he has a very cool, it's also like in a comic direction. Could be a comic artist now too. Really, really nice. Jim Murray and the other one was Crack Stables. I have to look them up, checking what they are doing now. I think many of the, the artists are now drawing for, for magic. But at the at the same time, like looking at new Magic the Gathering releases, I think the art is really shit or bad. Not a fan of the of many the art. Uh, Rimblad Earth Shatter. And Fit of Rage. Yeah, another like Sintragosa artwork. He's burning. I wanted to look into like Hearthstone again too, but <laughs> I don't know if it's like worth it as a free to play gamer to look into it. And I don't know. I rather would have like to play Legends of Runeterra again, but since they have basically like stopped supporting this game, I felt a little bit like uh, demoralized. Overseer Severin and penetrating shots. Uh -huh. Rip Fiend, another John Boy Myers artwork. He's working sometimes with like very bright colors. I do like it. Battlegrounds. What's what's Battlegrounds? Is this a, like a special mode to play or? I want to stream like later in the day uh, on Twitch again. But I thought about like playing the the waifu shooter gacha game Nikkei. I don't know, maybe I will give it a try. I think I should, I still have installed Hearthstone. Oh, and this card is also Hmm, like the card quality sometimes on the first card, there's like a, not really bent, but there was some pressure on the first card. You should see, there's a line going through it. Huh. Another Arthas artwork. But this one looks a little bit too much CGI for me. Not one of my, my favorites. Archdruid Liliantra. Lil oh, I have, haven't seen this artwork before. It's the the horse, the dead horse, my little undead pony. You pay one less to complete quests. I do like this artwork. When you play a resource face up, you may remove target card and engrave it from the game. Cool. Hearthstone Battlegrounds, it's a different game and free to play friendly. Oh. Uh, there are foils, but very, very rare and not in the. So. In, in the regular booster packs, only the, the loot cards are foiled. But when you open or when you buy the Epic Collection, the Epic Collection is like a special box with, I think, six booster packs. And in addition to the six booster packs and the playmat and a deck box, there was a small pack with five. Was it five? There was like a pack with a few hero cards and foil. But yeah, you, you cannot pull foil cards from boxes. 
only in the in the epic collection the egg blades of the endless void Yeah, usually I'm I'm a big fan of foil foil cards and textured cards, but even if uh, World of Rock of don't uh, has this, like I do like the artwork. I have a lot like emotional connect connection to to this game. And it's yeah, of course it's old. <laughs> Like this is from 2010. Okay, what is this? This is a card I haven't seen before too. Warbots Bloodbane. Death Knight. Looks like around Ice Crown Citadel. Oh, this looks cool. Yeah, there's like a, there's also a foiled version of the Lich King hero card. Uh, it looks very, very nice, but yeah, of course, like <laughs> foiled and textured would have been amazing. But sadly, they decided to stop producing this and go the easier way and they went the Hearthstone way. Passerium. Here's the rare. Does this TCG have any waifu? Uh, yeah, sometimes, Habibi. Like here, it's a, a demon waifu. He will end your life after Snoo Snoo, but that's worth it. At least that's what she said. Ancient Confessor of Pale Dress and the Frostbridge Orb. Oh damn. Yeah, uh, today is today is not a, a waifu stream, today is a World of Warcraft chill stream. I have these boxes for such a long time that I finally want to open them up. Even if I'm, I'm very sad at the same time when I have opened my last box and then I knew that I will never experience that again. Another Bloodlord. Oh, and Kultira. Yeah, a lot of these, these blue rare cards I see for the first time. This is also like the... Is it the PvP version of the weapon or is it the Sunwell version? I'm not sure. It has like the the same design, but I think the colors were different for the PvP version. Oh yeah, these boxes are old and expensive. Yes, yes. That's the point. That's <laughs> that's the reason why I have stopped buying them. And that's why I will probably never spend so much again on, on these. Black Eruptor. Another Archdruid and Frost Strike. Oh, another John Boy Myers artwork. Oh. We get some vivid colors here again, but from the first look, I would have not really recognized it as a John Boy Myers. Maybe around like the the details there, but it looks a little bit different. Wow, wife was to the moon. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they are like so expensive because at some point many people probably like opened these for 
all the loot cards and now there aren't many left and people people still like price them that you expect to pull a pull a loot card but chances are so low like i did pull one now but i i would never like gamble like if you if you don't care for the regular cards like me like for the for the common cards and stuff if you just buy these and open these because you are hoping for the loot cards you are beyond stupid like for me it it really doesn't matter i don't feel i don't feel bad if i don't hit a hit a loot card i'm still happy about all these cards it's just like a bonus Kian the Colors and Thunderstorm. There are just so many, so many memories and feelings attached to World of Warcraft for me that I, uh, I can put a high price on these for me. And I will not sell them. I will take these to the grave. Oh, Gali the Illa, okay. Oh, we have we have another loot card. It's so weird, like you you barely can see it, but there are two cards together. And because the, the loot cards are old and uh yeah, the foiling. <laughs> okay, we got a paint bomb. I love the artwork. I think this is one of yeah, this should be the first, yeah. Number one of three. So this should be like an item that you use in game and then it's it's gone. And we've got a boomkin. Boom, boom, boom. Twelve paladin. Hansi. <laughs> oh, the good Hansi. And the wild code. Tyrion's Gambit. Overseer and the ship. The ice grown ship of the Alliance. Sadly, I wasn't able. There are like three three sets in the Breath of the Lich King cycle or in the yeah, Ice Crown cycle. And I was able to get this one and the Freskate one, but there is a, a third one, but I yeah. I wasn't able to pick this up too. A Warbringer. I could check like is it still is it available on card market? It is available in German for 400 euro or oh, yeah, 400 dollars, basically the same. Way too expensive. Especially because in this set there aren't like any I don't think there were like any mounts. I have to check this. Mm. I need answers. Where is it there? Yeah, there <laughs> there are like no mounts in the and the set and the ice cream set that I'm missing. It's just like a a kitty cat. So I don't really see why you should spend so much on the box. No. No. What have I pulled the Am I just really confused or have I pulled the same? Where was my, f what was my first epic card from the box? I don't remember. Just know that Ronin was not one of the ones that I wanted. 
Yes, 400 Euro. Yes, yes. It's just because it's so rare. But at the same time, like nobody or like nobody should be willing to spend this much on this set. Like I, I did spend so much on some sets, but not on this. And the last card is Cloves of the Frozen Clade. There's uh, one of the latest sets. I, I did spend so much on it, but would never spend so much again and not on this, on the other release. So I need to make some space for my, for my last box of today. Yeah, that's that is really crazy. The uh, in the beginning I said that there is like one set that I will never open. Uh, people go really crazy on this one because there is a chance for the spectral tiger. It's uh, like a mount for the game, and I don't know realistically how much people would sell this for, but. Uh, the cheapest available on card market is for 4,900 euro for one box. Yeah, I will never open this set. I would have like, yeah, I would have to win in the lottery to, to be willing to spend that much money. But yeah, I think this will be like the only set that I will never open. Yeah, of course, like the the other set in which the the spectral tiger can be found is also super expensive. The fires of Outland. But yeah, last box for today, and yeah, these cards are oh, are in German because the the English box or the English release is so much more expensive. Deutsche Ausgabe. I think I can look this up on card market too, like uh, the English. Oh, there is no English version. <laughs> okay, lol. Uh, there, <laughs> there is currently one box on card market from this set for 1,000 euro. <laughs> 1,100 euro. Easy money. Let's open this. Oh, I don't want to damage the box, of course. But yeah, checking what is in the box for us. Oh no, this is for... You have to be 14 or what? Why are all this the stickers on my cards? On my booster packs? So, there is no, no mount in this set too. It's only like a statue generator. I don't know. Now there's a, I think I need most of the, the epic cards still. And of course, yeah, now the, the cards are, as I said, in German. What's this? It's like a raccoon. Jeremiah Carbock. Oh, that's a cool artwork. It's a warlock. Yeah. 
And now we have the, the rare card again in the middle. The small death knight gnome. Like the the sword is bigger than he is. But yeah, the, the favorite or my favorite epic card from the set would be like the High Lord Tyrion Fortring. The guy with the with the Ashbringer. Okay. All staff. Croc. Oh yeah, orc. An orc death knight. Oh yeah, this artwork. Who has done this? Why? Oh wait a second. Wei Wang. Oh this name. That's another name I have to look up. Wei Wang. I have to put it to the side. I think I've read this name before. Oh, maybe I'm stupid. There should be a, a loot card mount in this set. It should be the Hippocrife, right? Ah, okay. Guess I'm not that smart. Yeah, I checked on card market like the highest price, but I think the there is no one selling the mount at the moment, so not available. Earth Healer. Ah, not a fan of the artwork. And let's try what was Last Journey. Or maybe the translation. Cedric Darwin. Ah, oh, yeah, the memories, the memories and the art. Yeah, maybe if I can, if I can sell the mount pole and I find another box for cheap, I will, I will try to open something again, but only if it's like a reasonable price. Dusion. <laughs> oh man. Ulige. Oh, this this name is a little bit funny in German. Just don't really know how to uh, how to translate it. Dicke Bertha. Like the the thick Bertha. Basti. No, yeah, it's probably in English. It's probably Basti Bertha. This would be so funny. I have to find the translation for her. I need. No, Burly, no, Burly, no Busty. Why am I thinking of Busty? I think I have some strange words in my mind. Burly better. Nouveau. Blood of Mage. Android, okay. And the rogue ability. Oh yeah, this this sword and oh this is yeah, of course. Always when I stop to when I stop to look at an artwork, is it John Boy Meyer's artwork? This looks cool. And this sword from oh was it Naxramas? I think it should have been from Naxramas. Where's my focus there? Oh, we have a we have a loot card. It's not sticking together. It is. Oh, oh, this is actually worth something. I have to check it. Ah, uh, this is super random, but you can redeem it and you get something. And there is a very low chance to get us the spectral tiger for this one. So this will be a loot card I will not give away for free. Okay, this is actually very good. This is nice. 
Dicke Bärte as a children's <laughs> uh, What What kind of game is this? Oh, I remember this axe, this weapon. Uh, Lean, what is the, the game about? The Dicke, Dicke Bärte game? Is this like a bullying game? Protection shield. Sarina. Oh, okay. I thought it's a it's an epic card, but it's not epic. It's just a blue card. The ghost. The ghost that you see when you die a lot, like me. Yeah, Darren Bader, another popular artist, or like another artist I like a lot, Darren Bader. I think there were like some magic artworks I do like from him too, if I remember correctly. And I, did I spit on my screen? What the fuck? Oh, I did. Blech. Uh, where was it? Is it the... No, it's not the entrance to Anaxia. What is this? Don't remember where this entrance was. Huh. Some of these cards have like white name. Like the border is uh, a little bit worn off. To Suntree. The Night Elf Rogue. Uh, the Helmet. Banzai. Hyena. I do like hyenas. Hyenas are, are aws awesome animals. Like, most of you probably don't know this, but you can, like, you can go to a female hyena and say, hey, nice, nice cock, because uh, female hyenas have a, a penis, like they, yeah, they have a dick. I hope you, you remember this one day, if someone asks you, like, female hyenas have big dick energy. Uh, Crunkle, death, conkle? Hey, Kenji! Were you eating again? <laughs> you know I have to ask this every time. But should I should I have wrote you that I am I am live? I don't know. I I thought you have seen my my Instagram story. I was guessing you are here with me. Harona? Oh, what is this? That's a weird art style. More like realistically like, not like a comic artwork. Oh yeah, I remember this. The colors in this artwork are also great. Little undead rogue. Panta Gustav. And we got a gnome. Warlock. And pestilence.
Have I missed an a epic card? No, I don't think we have uh, pulled an epic before from this box. We shouldn't have. Sonia. Of course I pull this epic card. This is also like one of the cheaper ones. Not one of the, the epics I wanted to get. Hmm. Oh, you were out shopping. What have you bought? Yeah, it's one of the cheaper ones, of course. But maybe we have one more try. Oh, I have forgotten the name of the the leopard thingy from Breath of the Lich King. Lore, something with lore, Lok Lokta, Lo Logal, no. What's my favorite hunter pet? Because it reminds me of the snow leopard. Snow leopards are my, my favorite animal. Uh, Kenji, do you remember where this entrance is from? I don't. Should be maybe in, in Frath of the Lich King, but I don't. It looks lot, not like from Frath of the Lich King. And we've got an Orc Hunter and Katoka. Oh, another John Boy Myers artwork. Oh, you, you were just shopping for groceries. I thought you were like shopping for, for unnecessary stuff or for like <laughs> merchandise. Yeah, my my first thought was like Onaxia too, but I'm not I, I'm not sure. Oh, the first card is damaged. Huh. I hope there are not more packs that are damaged, or more cards in general. Lumira. Uh, oh yeah, I remember the the skin of this helmet or like this design looked so ugly and a gnome rogue and this like undead mage looks like a toad I don't know if the jar is like so big Some of these packs are very hard to open, but I don't think they are resealed. If they were resealed, they could have taken out the the loot card. Sonia? <laughs> of course I pull like the weakest epic cards. Uh, uh, the High Lord card is expensive. I was really hoping for the Tyrion Fortring. But I don't think there is a... No, there are all, always like only two epic cards. Yeah, they... They reused most of the artwork in Hearthstone, I know. I think basically Hearthstone is like World of Rock of TCG 2.0, like was maybe just like easier for them. We've got a weapon. Oh, we've got a dummy mummy. Who was asking for waifus earlier? He's probably not here anymore and watching, but now you've got your waifu dummy mummy. Yeah, the the character and stuff is cool, but I I do want to complete my set of uh, of Frathgate and I do need like some of the 
the other epic cards and they are a lot more expensive so i do have to spend at some point money to get the single cards maybe basto and okay Hello, Benjamin. <laughs> What's up? I'm I'm opening my last box of Breath of the uh, of Wrathgate, of the last box from World of Rock of today, from my box. I was quite lucky. Like I actually did pull a, I did pull a mount. I did pull the woolly white rhino. I didn't expect it to pull. Uh, maybe I can sell it and I can pick up something else. Oh, we've got another loot card. Oh, it's another one. I actually think I, I have to look it up, but I think you can sell these. Not, of course, not super expensive, but. Oh, yeah, that's a cool artwork. It's another. No, I don't think we have seen this art, this artist before. Craig Capullo. No. Oh, I do like this. But yeah, as I said, you can, you have a very low chance, I think, to, to pull a Spectral Tiger with this one. Kenji, what do you need? The Woolly Rhino? <laughs> it's quite expensive, I guess. I don't know, I have to, to look on eBay what I, what I can sell that for. Another gnome death knight and the warrior ability. Oh, it's someone on the door. Oh, I just got something from Japan. I I don't want to put out my, my address, but where's my scissor? Maybe we can open this uh, live too after the, the VOV cards. But these are like uh, anime cards. Man, FedEx, FedEx is so fucking fast. Like... Uh, they take like three days from Japan to Germany. It's crazy. They are by far the best, the best shipping company ever. Like FedEx is awesome. Not sponsored, but I, I do love them. A thousand times better than uh, every other company I dealt with. Another of her. Oh, another mount. We did pull in, uh, in the other set the undead My Little Pony mount. Ah, cool, cool. Only a free few weeks. Yeah, I'm super excited for uh, Dissonance. Oh. Here's again the first card damaged. Uh, yeah, I I will try to pick up some boxes. I don't know how many. Like the next month will be a little bit difficult for me money wise. Um, but long term I will try to pick up some more. <laughs> uh, we've got like a uh, Paris Hilton or in and World of Warcraft it, it's Harris Pilton. But yeah. With the doggo and uh, the handbag of uh, Dolce and Kika. I, I don't know how to pronounce it in, or what's the English name for that, but it's like a pun on Dolce and Gabbana, like a wordplay. Mm. 
Dorsion Champion von Adal. Okay. Quest. Yeah, another Darren Bader artwork. I do like the art style of him. The bag from Shathroth, yes. I paid Pokeboo yesterday the money for the game. Did you did you use my uh my discount code for Pokeboo? Could you get five percent off? <laughs> well it's not your, your first order from him, right? Right? <laughs> I think it's only for like new new people. Oh, we end up with a Man, who who decided that this is like the right you can why are there there the nipples like this? Did someone like check the artwork and was like, okay, we need some more horny art? Huh. See this for the first time. I thought that it like they they don't do stuff like that. But we've got another waifu card, I guess. And yeah, last last booster pack from from the box, and then I will show you what I just got in the mail. It's just like a Japanese card for my collection. Okay, that's a nice way to end. Another blood elf rogue. Okay, and another pony. Oh yeah, cool. That's really cool. I, I, I needed the, of course, I needed the, the mount. It's another Sultan Boros and Gabor. Shikse. Shikse. Artwork. But yeah, this was nice. I, I did got like a few loot cards and, uh, yeah, definitely not resealed, not, nothing wrong with them. So let's see if we've got everything, but I need to, I need more space again. There's so many, so many cards around me here. Uh, barely have space to navigate. Maybe I have to adjust the focus again, but... I hope there are no no damage to the cards. But they are wrapped tightly. Oh. oh, it's very well wrapped, I guess. Maybe too well. Yeah, there are like some battle spirits. Probably most people don't know battle spirits, but I I do collect Egyptian themed cards, so I I found some of them in, in battle spirits. So I had to pick them up. Oh yeah, this is the, the best of all. This will be the last card to show you. Very excited for this. Ooh, let's see. Okay, this is just protection. Uh, here we have. There's the focus. Uh, is this Ra? No, this is not Ra. So we see like some Egyptian designs in this one. They were quite, uh, most of them are quite cheap. Now we've we we go into the waifus, I guess. Yeah, I do. Very very iconic. I will do a another like special video where I go through all of these new Egyptian theme cards at some point. I know maybe most of the people don't care, but I I do like it a lot. 
You know, we see like the paintings on the pillars. Oh yeah, and this artwork is so cute. Like a muscular kitty cat. That has like the, the headwear or headgear of a pharaoh. Oh, this should be Anubis. Who was it? No, this is not Anubis. I have to look up the names again. But yeah, some like Egyptian angel cards. Then I've picked up a few ZX cards, of course. In foil. They are looking cool. Oh yeah, this one, this one is sweet. Yo. And I'm so happy that I found someone in Japan who helps me with getting these cards. It's so hard for me to get them in Germany. Uh, and I just have to pay like 5% extra and then he's like getting me all the cards and shipping them to me. That's so, so awesome. Yo. Yeah, my, my favorite Chase. I hope she's not damaged. Uh, yeah, Horus. The female Horus version. Oh, I wanted this so bad. I, I have to put her in my Instagram story. Oh, yeah, and then I picked up the... Oh, this has some crazy texture. This is a PR card. And it's so crazy how cheap these are in Japan. These are super cheap in Japan. Just hard for us to get our hands on them in, in the West. Okay, wow. Wow, 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 wow. And yeah, I did I did buy multiple boxes because I wanted to pull this Horus card, but I wasn't able to pull it. So I had to order it. Yeah, the problem with uh, with ordering Kenji is that they, it's not difficult to find the shops. It's difficult because the shops don't ship to Germany. Oh, have I ordered this in non-foil? I don't remember. Or maybe there was like not a foil version of this one. But you see like the Ankh symbol in the hand. And this like with the pyramids building. And this is a mummy. You also see like some kind of hieroglyphs. It's like in a tomb. tomb. And another like crocodile, Egypt, with a pyramid in the back. Okay. This looks so cool, man. I do love like ZX cards so much. Really nice timing that uh, that the postman came while I was still alive. I I would have opened them not on stream or like I have I would have not recorded it anyways. So maybe this is a nice way to end the stream. Uh, this is Seth. This is like the the brother I think the brother of uh, Osiris. And yeah, the Battle Spirits cards they do have some crazy texture and yeah they have uh, they are double sided. On one side there is like a, um, how can I say, it? like a, a past version and then there is a sci-fi future version. Now this is Isis. I think she was the most expensive of them. Don't know why. Maybe you can play her, but she is the, she's the sister of Osiris and of Seth. One of the, one of the most important uh, deities in ancient Egypt. This is... Horus, or Horus, yeah, of course, Horus. The the son of Isis and Osiris. Yeah, a little bit. Incest is okay. Now this is, I think this is Ra. I do like the older versions a little bit more, like this side, but the other side it's like the futuristic sci-fi version and this one has more texture. But I do like this one more. Ah, this is Osiris. 
in many pictures Osiris has green skin. Yeah, like here also. Of course, he's also like the the god of of rebirth and uh, yeah, the cycle of life. And green is maybe like for for life. Oh, this is finally this is Anubis. Yeah, you can read like the katagana here. This is A. Uh, this is Nu, and this is B, and this this is Su. Anubis Su. He also has like the scale to to weight the heart against the feather of Maat. And yeah, the the sci-fi version. But I do like this version a lot more. Another like battle spirit. Like <laughs> there are many battle spirits cards uh, with ancient Egypt. I, I haven't bought everything because it was just too much. But I, I picked up a lot. Maybe one day when I, I don't know, when, when I win the lottery. I don't, I wanted to visit Japan next year. I don't know if I can, if I have the money. I don't see it at the moment. And yeah, we have, we have like a duck or a goose with uh, ancient Egyptian jewelry. It was like not, not super expensive, but also like for, for a card like this, not cheap. But I thought this is so such a meme card that I wanted to pick it up. I don't know, a goose. Ancient Egyptian goose. I don't know. This is cool. And yeah, this like a crocodile. I don't know if this is like Amit. Amit is a is the crocodile deity, but not sure. And of course, the most important, the most expensive card, the only top loaded card also. Oh, this is crazy. I had to think multiple times if I want to pick this up because it's not cheap, but here we are. Oh, this is... This was not cheap, Utaka. But I, I do like... It's not an Egyptian character, but I do like the character a lot. And the texture on this one is crazy. So I had to pick this up. And yeah, this is like from a anniversary set. It's nothing you can pull from a box, I think. Sweet. I, I really enjoyed sharing the, the unboxing of the singer cards with you. I'm very cool that uh, my my live stream wasn't over. The goose. Hi, Watlo. Nice that you are here. Are you are you buying anything at the moment, Watlo? What are you uh, into now? Collecting or battle spirit? I totally forgot that there were cards there too. Oh, I I have opened uh, one display of battle spirits recently. I haven't uploaded it now, but I I will in the future. But yeah, I. I have to make like sh some changes for YouTube. Like I have to, I have to buy a lot less, to be honest, and maybe like one video per week, maybe even less. But I I have to check over the next month. But at the moment, it's really not sustainable how I do YouTube or like how how much I buy. There are like some. Weiss Schwarz Japanese sets I will open next month probably. But long term I don't see myself having the money to do so much. Mostly One Piece at the moment. Do you uh, get cards in, in shops or are they like... I think they are getting very expensive. Or is there... There should be a reprint coming, right? For boxes? Or are you more into playing One Piece? I think they have announced a reprint. Yeah, it's it's the same here in Germany, Watlow. That's the same thing happening, like everything getting shitty expensive and Yeah. I I have already like cut out some some TCGs or some expenses, like I will not open any more build divide. 
I will not open any more Japanese V cross. And long term, I don't see myself opening a lot Weiss Schwarz anymore. Don't have the money. What Weiss Schwarz SPs are your favorite? Uh, probably the Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid SPs, because it's like one of my favorite animes. But I, I did open some boxes, but I wasn't lucky, sadly. But it's like, yeah, my favorite. There are also like a Japanese release of Weiss Schwarz of Darling in the Franks. It never got to, to English. But I do like the, the Zero Two SPs a lot. But at some point they got a lot expensive too. I think there was a time when they were a lot more um, available or a lot cheaper. And I was hoping for for English release too. Oh, you don't get booster boxes here. Totally understand this. Yeah, the problem for me is with with Weiss Schwarz is that I uh, that I'm not like that lucky, and I'm just only like opening one box, and then at the same time time they are not cheap, and I I really want to visit Japan, but I have like no savings like nothing at the moment and if i buy stuff or if i buy more weiss schwarz or more boxes i will never have enough money to visit japan <laughs> so yeah i will be still opening zx in the future just not as much oh yeah the the sneaker bunko ones are nice too there, there's also like the release of, oh, maybe I have to, um, give me a second. Where's my window capture? Um, so there was like another release, which has like interesting, um, this one, right? Yeah, my my partner shop Pokeboo here in Germany still has some boxes of these. Maybe I will try to uh to get one of those. Maybe he will like sponsor a video or something. I would really like to open this set. There's some cool cards, some cool SPs. I don't like all of the art styles, like this art style is like one of the older anime art styles, I don't like them. But I think this would be a cool box to open. I thought maybe if the the channel reaches 2,500 subscribers, I want to open in a live stream 250 packs. And yeah, maybe I will try to get some packs of this one. I do have some, some Shadowverse Evolve. And some ZX already, but I have no Weiss Schwarz loose booster packs. I get the SP trial decks and currently just got the second demo decks they released. Uh do you do you play with Weiss Schwarz too, Wadlow, or do you just collect them? Oh, but some of the SPs are super expensive, like in in Hollow Life, I do like a lot of the SPs too, but I would never spend this kind of money on them. But they do look amazing. It was like, a, yeah, of course, the Hoshi Marine is an SSP, but also like this, uh, it's also an SSP, Minato Aqua. They have some really really cute uh, SPs. It's nice, not as loot as yeah. It's a little bit less loot, yeah, that's true. Yeah, the problem is that I I cannot make content from me buying SPs. <laughs> and I don't have this kind of money to buy SPs, to be honest. So I I rather would buy boxes for for the videos or for live streams. Buying single cards is just not not content really. 
don't get as much wise. Uh, what low? Let me show you something. Now I have to switch again between the... I do have the Battle Spirit stuff, but I just haven't recorded it yet. But it's coming, I swear. Maybe next month, I don't know. I also got one of the, the trial decks. When I Is it a trial deck? It's a deck. But yeah, I wanted to get booster boxes, but they are too expensive. I don't have the money for the boxes, so just the... Just the premium packs, but it, there's like a set like this one with Godzilla. I'm super excited for this. But yeah, no, no booster box for me. I know sort of know how to play it. Oh, in, in the past days I've watched multiple videos of like uh, how to play Weiss Schwarz and it's just... It's so much more complicated than like uh, Magic the Gathering or V Cross. Like V Cross and Magic the Gathering is super easy to understand, but Weiss Schwarz is so complicated for me. I'm just too stupid. Uh, that's true. I understand better for content. Yeah. So where in Germany do you live? <laughs> oh, I better not tell you that. Oh, uh, if you if you want to visit Watlow, bring bring cake, please. We can we can change. I give you cards, you give me cake. I'm always in for cake, cake and coffee. We have a date. Mm, I don't have graded cards, Lawson. I don't. I don't have uh, this kind of money. Uh, I I am just not uh, rich. <laughs> The only graded card I I have is one that I won in a giveaway. And it's one of the live TCG. There's an animal on it. But I, I have not a single PSA or BGS card. I'm too poor for this. But yeah, let's... Man, I'm, I'm really in the mood to open something else. But maybe I should just uh, do another live stream at a different time. Lol, you know I will come and we will go. <laughs> okay, what, Lol? That's that's a date. Tell me, tell me when. That's easy. I will come over when I'm feeling. <laughs> ah, Kenji. Yeah. There's also like in, in Battle Spirit Saga, in the English version, they have now Evangelion cards, but I don't have the money for the boxes either. They are also like 70, 70 or 80 euro or dollar. Just all too much. Have a TCG promise. Uh I, I feel like I need a I need a TCG sugar mama or sugar daddy like someone who who pays the boxes for me could really need that I can send feed pics hmm now there are like also like some union arena stuff I just got the oh yeah. The second package I just got with the single cards today should be the Union Arena Jujutsu Kaisen boxes. I hope I can pull something nice from them. There's like, maybe some of you haven't seen that. Uh, there's a super fine looking uh, Sukuna card. Yeah, I, I don't really invest uh, Lawson, like I just enjoy opening. I just enjoy YouTube. I enjoy live streams. Um, 
In the past, I have recorded a lot of unboxings, but in the future, in the future, or my long-term goal would be more uh, towards live streams. Like I, I do enjoy live streams and talking while unboxing a thousand times more. Like for years, I have just recorded them, and I was like, "Oh, that's fun." But I maybe I will just open or upload two videos in a month, and the rest I will do in in live streams. But I'm I I don't really invest in in boxes. Like I don't have don't have a lot of sealed boxes that I have in store, and I'm waiting for the price to go up. I just open them with the community and just enjoy the cards and the pulls. And I, I just like and I and just enjoy talking about card collecting. Because here, like, there's like no local game store near me. There's nobody I can share this hobby with. So I do enjoy the, the live talking about it a lot. I never bought a box, just pre created cards. Oh, that's super cheap. Are these like for auction? But the the creating process for PSA should be alone like twenty or twenty five euros, right? I don't see like why someone sells the slabs so so cheap, or are there cheaper ways to create them on a PSA? But yeah, this would be like it's the three star parallel card for Sukuna. And this looks so amazing. Oh, this would be like my favorite hit. Or maybe the, the second. Uh, this is the two star, not the three star. I would take this every day too. I'm really like simping for Sukuna just. Sukuna or Gojo, but I, I do like Sukuna more. And there's an old Bushy Road game called Luck and Logic. Oh, I remember, I think Bob, one of my, my viewers from the Netherlands, he told me from this, from this uh, TCG tour. I think he was it. I never heard of it before. I did look it up, but uh, yeah, I have to to focus on a few games. And this will be like the English V Cross and and ZX probably. Don't see myself long term into Weiss Schwarz. Maybe if they if they would release a second volume Weiss Schwarz of Dragon Maid, I would go crazy on it. Uh, I watched your videos this first time catching live. <laughs> Yeah, I, I know that you can get very, very lucky with auctions on created cards, yeah. I remember because of the time zone difference, like, sometimes I remember that I I had to set up an alarm for, like, 3, 3 in the, in the night, 3, what is it, a.m.? P.m.? I don't know, like, in the middle of the night I had to set an alarm because there was, like, an auction ending. And my girl sleeping next to me is super annoyed, like, why my my alarm is ringing in the middle of the night. And I was like, I have to bid on this card, so I get it for sheep. But yeah, I'm not so much into... Like, with these Egyptian cards, I do like to buy singer cards, but in general, I'm not a big of a singer cards buyer. I know I have to put stuff up on Instagram once or twice. Hmm. My cross inside game, I got a wise PR card. Exclusive Japanese games that have V cross cards? Uh, what do you mean, what low? There are like, I know that there are V-Cross collaboration cards in Dual Masters, for example, <laughs> which is, yeah, they are from the same company like Takara Tumi. 
I know that. But yeah, I'm, I am excited. Have anyone heard of like Union Arena in the, the English release? This could be like becoming big if they do it right. I feel like they want to challenge Weiss Schwarz long term. And with the new with the new releases or like with what they are doing now with the texture and stuff <clears throat> in Union Arena. I do think they are on a good path. <laughs> As I've done that before. Uh the price you have to pay for for getting cards for a good price. Less sleep. But yeah, I don't have anything else to open today. Oh, okay. Okay, Watlow. Yeah. So yeah, I think I will go eat breakfast. <laughs> uh, I haven't done that yet. I, I really did enjoy the live stream. I hope you too. We we did pull some nice stuff from the VOV boxes and I it was cool to share like the single card with you. But yeah, maybe I hope I can get like some money back. And uh yeah, it was nice to pull this. I have this loot card here. So yeah, for, for more live streams or more content please subscribe if you haven't yet maybe like the the live the live stream or my videos <clears throat> it always helps when you interact with my stuff so it gets more reach like recently uh, many of my videos don't get so much reach anymore <clears throat> i think it's because i don't do like these aliexpress cards anymore but i just enjoy these official cards a lot more so not going back to AliExpress stuff. But yeah, I, I do wish you a nice nice Wednesday, everyone. Hope we talk again in my next live stream. <laughs> have a curry was that. Uh, I I don't have one, sadly. Even if I, I now I want one. Thank you, Wardlow. Now I, I'm hungry for a curry roast. No, you spelled it right. Don't see a mistake there. You probably put could put the two words together. But I'm not a not a grammar guy. But yeah, have have a nice day, everyone. Uh, thank you for for joining my live stream. Thank you for talking. And yeah, long term, as I said, I will focus a lot more on live streams. Maybe if you watch this afterwards, like maybe we have to set up a time or a certain day. Maybe I should try to always like live stream at the same time, but then some people like from Australia or from other countries can catch me. But maybe, yeah, if, if you have like suggestions, if you want me to stream at a certain time, let me know in the comments or hit me up on on Instagram. Uh, thank you, Lawson.